So now that we've created the variables, we can actually start to manipulate them. We can put new values in them, we can replace the values that are in them, we can add new values into combined with the old values. So we have the variable age that we created with the keyword var. All these variables here, we're using the keyword var, and that means that we're creating the box, we're doing that initial creation. After the variable has been created, we don't need to use the var word again. All we need is the name of the variable. So we can say age equals 42. There, we've now taken the existing variable age and we've put a number into it. With the variable age2, that has a number inside of it, 25. If I wanted to replace that, there, age2 equals 34. Now what I've done is I've replaced the 25 that was inside of this variable with a new value. 34 is now the value of age2. With the variable name, I can say that is now going to be equal to Vince. Vince is now the new value of name. We've replaced Rick with this new value here. Remember, we're always going from the right-hand side into the left. The computer calculates the stuff on the right, puts it into the thing on the left. Variable today. We can say that that is going to be replaced with another date object. This time we're going to be more specific though, and we're going to say 2012-09-04. There we go. We've now created a new date for September 4th, 2012. That date object has been put into the variable today and replaced that existing date value. All right, so that's replacing values. Now, how do we add something into it? Let's say for the variable age, I don't want to get rid of the 42. I just want to add 10 to that value. So I can say that age is equal to age plus 10. Or age 2 is equal to age 2 plus 15. So in these two examples, the stuff on the right is happening first. So the computer will look at age and say, what's the current value of age? Well, it's 42 up here. So 42 plus 10 is 52. That value now goes into this variable and replaces what was there before. In the case of age 2, we had 34. 34 plus 15. Combine those two, we get 49. 49 becomes the new value inside of age 2. With a string, the name variable, if I want to take what was in there already, name, and I'm going to add a last name onto this. There we go. So I've added a space and the word Smith onto the end of Vince. So Vince is what was in there before. I'm adding a space and the word Smith. All together, Vince space Smith, that becomes the new value of the variable name. So Vince Smith, that becomes the new value there. Up here, we had 49 was the new value, and in here, 52. 